Hello friends. Today I want to show you how to help a denium that's in trouble. A year ago I had to, almost a year ago, I had to move closer to the mountains where the weather is wetter and as the bad luck would have it the winter which was as usually here in tropics rainy turned into unusually drizzly spring and so now beginning of summer finally finally the soil is starting to the growing medium is starting to dry and the plants some of which lost all its leaves are starting to grow new leaves good sign the problem with the tropics in a wetter part of the island like where I live is that in winter many roots the thin ones that are, uh, that are feeding the plants die only the thick remain and the, and the feeding roots regrow in spring when the growing medium dries and this is true about the big parts, my big old trees. The shallow parts, that's a different story. The shallow parts dry much quicker. The problem is with these big ones. Here you can see kind of a bonsai pot and nicely blooming having leaves but uh, that is not the subject of this story you see once the pot is shallow then even big old thick plant has no problem the problem is with the parts like this. So one of the plants got into big trouble. I took it out of growing medium and I found out that one of these thick main roots start to die. Not this plant, this plant is okay, but let me show you what I'm trying what I'm talking about, how I'm saving that plant. Moment. Let me go there, so I show you. I took the plant out of growing medium, I washed the roots, and I put it on the balcony where the wind is moving more, so the bad parts can dry. And uh, and here is my patient in my balcony hospital, and here is the big problem. You see this beautiful thick root on the other side start completely dry, dying. The roots lost all its very thin roots, but that's no problem, that will just grow back. But this has to dry well, I took all the rotten part out, and I'm not counting days, I don't care if it's gonna take two days or two weeks. However long it takes that it'll be completely, completely dry, then 
and then I'll replant it and it'll grow again. And how did I know that there is a serious trouble? Do I have an x-ray vision? No, I'd like to brag, but that would not be true. But you see, the branches start to die too. You see, here is one. And here, I don't know if you can see, it is another. And so, I could, and the leaves fell off. And I know that when there is a trouble on top and it's not from the box then it usually means that there is a trouble below three branches this one start to die this one and this one yeah, I don't know if you can see it. so I wash it I dry it I clean the rotten stuff and I hang it because if I lay it then the branches would get damaged by its own weight laying like that long time so this way I this is made for wrapping people with the wounds well is my baby so I'm using something sold in pharmacy actually Okay, here, piece of, piece of right, the end of this root. So, this is the story of macaroni. Don't give up. It'll be alright. It happened to me before, 10 or so years ago when we had big rains, that one a uh, big old adenium start to have a big root rot on a thick roots and uh, more so than this one it actually lost several of those thick roots and the other thick roots grew feeding roots and fed the plant to its current health and beauty and so dear friends I wish you health and I wish the health of all your adeniums and until next time, goodbye.